This complementary AP payment interface module works in a similar manner to AP electronic payments. A separate video on configuring electronic payments or direct deposit is available on our YouTube channel, Jonas Club Management. To enable this feature, please contact your account manager. Suppliers that have been identified by the CSI Pay Systems payment provider as participating in their program can have their invoices picked up through a regular cash requirements list, a payment file created, and an audit trail produced. Clubs will need to prepay CSI the amount expected to disperse on their behalf. The club CSI account acts like a virtual bank account to then pay the suppliers according to the payment file instructions with prepaid MasterCards, all of which are handled by CSI Pay Systems. Participating clubs will receive a cash rebate for their activity, much like a credit card rewards program, so that the more suppliers they are identified with CSI and processed, the better the rebate. Configuring the module involves setting up the profile and identifying suppliers as participants in the program. First, let's take a look at how to set up the CSI Pay Systems profile. Since the CSI Pay Systems module works like a virtual bank account, you need to have your AP subledger set up to maintain a separate list of virtual checks apart from your regular bank account's physical checklist. This is done by ensuring that the separate checks field in Accounts Payable, Files, AP Subledger Setup is selected. Then navigate to the Profile screen in Accounts Payable, Interfaces, CSI Pay Systems, and Profile. Then select the company and select Add a new profile in the Subledger field. Select the Subledger code to use. The bank GL account that will be used isn't the one in the Subledger's GL integration screen but the one here in the profile. Set the interface field to disable until you're finished configuring the profile. When you're all done, you can recall the profile to enable it. Select a GL account to act as the bank account for your virtual CSI bank account. This account will be credited when the AP Control account is debited as payment files are created. We recommend you set up a new dedicated CSI Pay Systems GL account in the Assets section of your GL account list in General Ledger, Files, Setup or Edit Chart of Accounts to act as the clearing account for the CSI payments. Use the File Folder field to browse to select the file folder location, usually in a common location on your Jonas server, where you wish to have the program create the payment files. The last used file number field can be left with its default value. It auto increments as files are created. Decide if you want to include the first 60 characters of any sticky notes that are attached to invoices in a file sent to CSI. Use the include sticky note in upload file field to enable this. Only those notes marked as include on check, which is enabled by your check design choice, are eligible to be included. Use the Include Vendor address in Upload File field to decide if you wish to send the first three lines of suppliers' addresses with the file sent to CSI. This allows them to create checks or stuffs for those vendors that don't wish to receive a credit card settlement when payments are made. Enter your CSI Pay Systems account code and customer ID in the respective fields. These are supplied to you by CSI. In the FTP Server section, select the protocol as directed by CSI Pay Systems. Enter the host and port settings provided by CSI Pay Systems. When you're finished setting up the profile, use this test connection button to ensure it works. Leave the FTP mode field set to passive, the default, unless instructed by CSI. Indicate the upload folder location to be used for sending and receiving files of suppliers created through accounts payable, interfaces, CSI Pay Systems, Link Suppliers. The default is inbound. Enter the username or password given to you by CSI. Repeat these settings in the Reconciliation Payment File FTP Server section to configure the location of the payment file received back from CSI for you to use in reconciling your payments. The default folder location for this section is outbound. Select OK to save your settings. Recall the profile and set the interface field to enable when ready to start using it. Next, we'll take a look at how to identify participating suppliers. There are two parts to this step, creating a list of your current suppliers and sending it to CSI Pay Systems 
and receiving back from them a list of your suppliers that they have managed to sign up to their program of receiving payments. Both steps are managed within the same program on separate tabs. To create a list of your existing suppliers to be submitted to CSI, navigate to Accounts Payable, Interfaces, CSI Pay Systems, Link Suppliers. Select the company and sub-ledger that you configured in the profile in Accounts Payable, Interfaces, CSI Pay Systems profile. Use the Export tab to start the process building file for CSI Pay Systems. The Suppliers field determines what list of suppliers will be shown for selection in the grid. Select the All Suppliers choice initially and use the Load to Grid button to populate the grid rows. The Unlinked or Linked Suppliers only choices are used for maintaining your list of CSI approved suppliers over time. The Include in File column controls which suppliers are to be included. Select or deselect suppliers you wish to include or not. Right-click on a column for options to select or deselect all this column rows. When finished selecting suppliers, enter a file name to be used to hold the list of suppliers to be submitted. It has to be a CSV type file name. Use the Create File Now button to finish and produce a report of what's included in the file. Then submit the file to CSI Pay Systems. When you receive a file of suppliers back from them, navigate to the Import tab. Enter the name of the file that was sent back to you or select the folder icon to select the file from your computer, then select the Load to Grid button. The Link This Supplier column controls which suppliers are to be marked as linked in Accounts Payable, Files, Maintain Suppliers, Page 2 screen. Select or deselect suppliers you wish to link or not, and right-click on the column for options to select or deselect all these column rows. When finished, Use the Link Suppliers Now button to mark off all the selected suppliers as being participants in the CSI Pay Systems payment program. With all this done, you are now ready to start creating payment files. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.